The forthcoming strike missions against uh, Daesh uh, absolutely signal a change in focus for the UK carrier strike group. To date, we've been very much focused on the softer diplomatic end of activities, but this signals uh, a change to delivering hard power maritime strike uh, from the sea uh, and a real step change in capability and demonstration of what we're all about. This is a hugely significant moment for the carrier project. Um, we've been preparing uh, for this moment for a number of, of years and this will now lay the foundation for, for many, many years to come of absolutely demonstrating the fifth generation technology of the Queen Elizabeth class absolutely married with the F-35B aircraft. And what does this mission demonstrate about the utility of maritime based air power in general? I think it demonstrates uh, our credibility, our capability, and above all, when you look out at the strike group and its composition, it demonstrates the choice that we offer to our political leaders. Uh, this mission signifies for the, for the UK Carrier Air Wing our return to carrier strike group activity. Uh, strike missions against Daesh, uh, this is us getting back on our feet as a carrier strike group after an 11 year capability gap, uh, and it's hugely exciting. So the F-35B is a multi-role aircraft. Uh, that means it can undertake uh, defensive counter-air against other aircraft platforms or strike missions against uh, land targets. Um, that's fairly unique these days due to the fact that it's a multi-role aircraft which means that we can swing from one type of mission to another seamlessly during the same sortie. So in essence we're always prepared for any mission that we're asked to undertake. So the last weeks, months and almost years that we've been training up to this point now, um, that first jet landing back in 2018 through the various exercises we've conducted with the US Navy and US Marine Corps. And then more latterly, as we started Operation Fortis, proceeding down through the Atlantic and into the Mediterranean, we've undertaken exercises with the French, the Italians, and broader NATO partners that have really given us the confidence uh, in our ability to undertake strike missions against Daesh.